What are we filming here? <laughs> Look at it sitting like, there. It's a human. It's, like, uh, it's a it's a slab of meat, but I promise it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a new sprayer for the hose for that because I was just putting my finger over it and kind of like creating a... I'll let you break that in. Want to open up those windows? Yeah, I'm going to. It gets real hot. Are you helping mommy water? Yeah, so I mostly just do it in the morning. Um, and if it's a really hot day, I'll come out here like in the evening too and kind of give it a spray down. But we open it up in the morning before it gets super hot and then just water everything. But there's a fan right there that we're gonna try to get working so we're not gonna have to air it out so often. Check on my cucumbers today. Oh, succulent Look cucumber. At that one. There's so many. Josh, who works with us, his friend has a calendar and he plants things kind of like by the placement of the moon. Um, it's an astrology calendar. So I'd like to start planting everything in that way. Um, so it's not so much by season, which is how I've kind of been working, um, but it's more by, you know, it's like a zodiac calendar, which I find really cool. Um, something that I've always done with my plants at home too, kind of in that same vibe, is I will put crystals in the planters. And so I kind of wanted to put cluster, clusters, crystals that sort of like represent growth and stuff like that. So I don't know, we'll see. I think it'll look cool too. <laughs> Good aesthetic. question for you um the check engine light came on and my oil pressure gauge is like bouncing up and down like just kind of floating up and down do you think that's just like a, a, a the gauge is shot or yeah the check engine light came on and my oil pressure gauge so i just need them to run like a diagnostic but i'm not very handy with cars at all coincidentally there is one of the top places in the country that customizes FJs is in Sandpoint. So I'm going to just go get a diagnostic run on it and then we'll see, we'll see where we go from that. Don't pick anything. Okay. We got to let it grow. No, but I like you grass. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear them. That's something else that I want to do too, is I want to have, um, I want to get bees. Yeah, I want to do honey. And I want to get some honey. Where would you do that? Is that Far away from the house. Yeah. Um, but also we don't really want it to be over by the orchard either. Um, I would put it probably up over where the pond is. Um, yeah. Because a lot of moisture over there. Yeah, bees need water too. Yeah. But we also got to bear proof it and all that. But that was also the reason why they don't want it near the orchard because yeah. then you just have like this heaven for bears. You <laughs> like, have wait. berries, you have honey. It's like golden corral for them. Yeah. Like all you can eat buffet. So we got to try to avoid that. But I want to sell my own honey. There's a really great farmer's market and I feel like I could get in. And then this is where I want the pumpkins, just along the the side. Tonight I'm going to make an elk pot roast from elk that Jack hunted for in the winter. And we're gonna have carrots and potatoes with it. Jack and I came up during Thanksgiving and we were just like sitting on the porch and in the distance he sees an elk. He's like, I gotta go, I gotta go get it. And so he, um, actually got that elk and we, we've had it in the freezer. So we've been waiting to do something with it. I mean, he's gotten a couple in the last year or so um, and they're always huge. So he's um, super into the, the elk. 
I make a gravy walking, for it. Walking, walking, walking. And it's so good because it's just marinating all day. I'm not a chef by any means, but like I do like to do it. So when I find something that I've made, you know, multiple times and I feel a little comfy doing it, like it's fun. And Jack is really good with meat recipes, but this is like my one meat thing that I that I do. I have made beef pot roast in the past, but this is my second or third, no third. Yeah. Third time making the elk. Um, I'm gonna run down to a mechanics real quick, just so they can run a diagnostic on the FJ Cruiser. What's wrong with it? The check engine light, remember the check engine light came on and one of the, the oil pressure gauge is like. <laughs> wow, Bubba. A big one? Let me see. Oh, wait, this is a huge one. Yeah, remember that time I shot a grasshopper's head off? Yeah. I don't know how big that is. Like what? Uh, it was with a, it was with a nine, it was a pistol, right? Mm -hmm. I was joking around, we were, we were target shooting on the range and a grasshopper like landed on the target. And I was like, what did I say? I was like, what are you gonna give me if I, if I actually hit the grasshopper? And I sh shot its head off. Headshot. Um, just shot its head off. There's um, different seasons within hunting. So there's elk season, deer season, bear season. Um, so if, if they're in season, then he's, he's kind of out there trying to do it. Um, he will often kind of zoom around the property and see what he can find. So... He's always looking for something. I've gone out with him at night, not hunting. Um, when he goes hunting and he's planning on going hunting, he typically will leave at you know, four in the morning. So I don't join in on that, but he, we sometimes will cruise around at night and just see if we see anything. So I've done that before and it is kind of scary because I think the last time we did it, we it was around midnight and we we're driving around the property and you could just hear coyotes everywhere. And we had the windshield of the side by side up and I'm like, one's gonna, I swear one's gonna jump in here. And there's the mountain lions and there are also wolves in these parts, so. Hey everyone, it's Jack Osborne here and Ghost and Grit is sponsored by Blue Chew. All right, now are you ready to talk about something that can be a little hard sometimes? You know what I'm saying? You guessed it, it's sex. Let's make it a little easier for you though. Let's talk about Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a service delivering chewable tablets with the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. You can take them day or night. You sign up at bluechew.com, chat with a licensed medical provider, and once approved, you'll receive your little handy dandy delivery within days. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived, if you know what I'm saying. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options today at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a very special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code GHOSTS at the checkout. You just pay $5 in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code GHOSTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. I've got some friends of mine, a bunch of, a bunch of guys coming up on uh, Friday to Monday. Uh, we're just doing like a little weekend, you know, male bonding hangout. Um, okay, let's I just go got to get the rules from, you know, from mom before. Ooh. What? Saying we need to, we gotta, we gotta talk about what the rules are for my friends that are coming. The rules. Yeah. It's just a bunch of men yeah. gonna be hanging out here. Yeah. Um, just a bunch of old guys. I don't know. You're already talking about rearranging some furniture. No, so. not. What was I gonna rearrange? The couch. You were gonna move the couch. Potentially. Yeah. So I think that's like. But it'll, it'll, everything will be back the way it was. <gasps> When we discovered Maple had so many allergies, 
I was always trying to find things that we could all have as a family. It was actually kind of scary and I feel a bit silly saying that because I know that there are way worse things that could happen as far as health goes. I've never had any food allergies and her sisters don't and Jack and I don't. So it's like, it was really difficult for me to try to figure out what to do with that. Um, but it really just kind of kicked me into gear of trying to figure out like, okay, what's a good grocery list every week that I can do? Um, so finding substitutes for everything, butter, milks, what to do about the egg situation. If I'm making dessert, I use applesauce in place of eggs. That's kind of the new thing. So we're making it work, and I feel like we're now a year out since I found out, and I'm doing much better. I did not know what to make at all. <laughs> so. But I keep telling Ari she needs to get three or four of her mom, mom group mm -hmm. moms and do like a mom and kid. Yeah, I think that's a, I would love to do that before the summer is over, is actually get some moms with their babies and we just do gal stuff, baby stuff. That's kind of a part of this, you know, it's, you know, we, Ari and I, we plan it to where it's just us up here a lot, but mm -hmm. it's also really fun to entertain people here and have people up and. I think now, especially, cause I feel like we haven't really had a lot of people up since we've fully redone everything. Like I feel like since we've actually had the kitchen done, no one's been here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the skillet going. And kind of let this heat up a bit. Put some olive oil and just kind of drizzle. Here's our elk. Here's Jack's Ooh. trophy. It smells great. <laughs> Here's the trophy. Um, I'm kind of used to it by now. We eat a lot of steak in our house, a lot of different meats in our house. So, yeah, the rule of thumb with, uh, you know, with game that eating game that you've killed and butchered is that you don't really want to keep it more than a year frozen. I mean, you can, it's not a problem, it's frozen, but you know, we'll get through a lot of it. And I'm also making chicken noodle soup for everyone before I go. Another slow cooker. Yeah, I've got that whole roast chicken in the freezer. freezer yeah. Salt, pepper. And you basically just want the outsides to be a little bit brown. You don't want to fully cook it. Just a light sear. I'm a big Our Place fan. They recently came out with their slow cooker, and so I was like, we have to do it. We had a Star Wars one before. This is a lot nicer. <laughs> I'm gonna just move this over here to cut it up, and then I'm going to, I mean, it literally looks like a log. Pieces like that. So it's still very pink on the inside. Jack and I really like to watch those videos of people cutting fish and slicing them. And because they do it with such an art. So that's just like something romantic we do together. Okay, so we're putting the meat in. Three cups of this. And garlic powder. Way more onion powder. Lock it up. We're gonna put it on low. And then I'm gonna do eight hours. And then I press play. And then it does all the work for you. <laughs> but the house is about to smell really good. Raising maple, you know, she's not in the public eye really, um, but it is something that I didn't think about so much. I didn't realize that I was going to be so protective and that I was going to have to think about like, wait, should I post her on my social media? Should I 
have her out at this event? Should I, you know, let people take pictures of her? So it's definitely brought out this really protective side of me. Um, and it's not something I expected. Like I do have a lot of fear surrounding, you know, people knowing what she looks like, people knowing where we live, people knowing about this place. Like this place has always felt really safe, but it's also a small town too. So that's kind of been hard because we go to the grocery store and it's different than going to the grocery store in LA. So I just feel very mama bear all the time. My dukes are up constantly. <laughs> What are people's like reactions their first time when they come? I think people, they, because it's so deceiving when you kind of pull off the high, because you know, you go, you're on the highway for ages, you've just seen these like random little towns you're passing through and then you pull off the highway and I think it's really deceiving for people. Yeah, and I think that also we're like, yeah, we have a house and there's, it's on some land. And so when people come, they're like, wait, all of this land? Should we go for a drive up the mountain? Sure. Fast, Daddy's playing the pedal to the metal. Like, I don't think they expect us to have all of it. Like, I don't think they expect us to get in a side-by-side -side and have to drive to a different location on the property to show them something. Yeah. So I think that's a big shock. During hunting season, I'm just like, hiking for hours and hours up here. We're in Bigfoot country here. Look at that out there, guys. Daddy should be buckled. Um, so yeah, they reintroduced wolves, thinking it would be great, and they were like, no, wolves won't, you know, they'll just eat what they need to. They won't go on like killing sprees. But there's no natural predator. There was no natural predator for wolves. And they just started eating everything. Like, absolutely everything. They're like fucking piranha. And so they opened wolf hunting and it's year round now. And there were certain programs where you could get paid a thousand dollars for every wolf you killed. And yeah, it was, it was like a, a huge problem. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can see the back of the property right here. There's the back side. There's, you can see, you can see the stop on. You can see the back of the house, you can see the silver tent. I love a great deal as much as the next guy, but I'm not gonna crawl through a bed of hot coals just to save a few bucks. It has to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile said it was easy to get wireless for $15 a month with a purchase of a three month plan, I called them on it. Turns out it really was easy to set up wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. I went on this The Mint website, I signed up, it was super easy, and yes, that was true. I did spend a lot of time with my previous provider trying to cancel. To get started, go to mintmobile.com slash ghosts. There, you'll see right now, all three month plans are only $15 a month, including an unlimited plan. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your contacts. Find out how easy it is to switch to Mint Mobile and get three months off premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. To get this new customer offer and your new three month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash ghosts. That's mintmobile.com slash ghosts. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash ghosts. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on their first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gig on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Okay, there's two and a half hours left. I'm gonna do a little check. Gotta let the steam out. <laughs> Ooh. I added some rosemary and thyme to the top just to add a little bit more uh, flavor, but we're just gonna do a little stir. Look at that broth. 
Let that sit for another two hours, and then it's dinner time. I think people look at Jack as like the ghost hunter or like Ozzy's son, and I feel like to give them a different perspective of he's like a big family guy, and we have four Did children, you know and we have a great ground? relationship. No, 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 back up, there's wasps, back up, there's bees, lots of them. That's so weird that they just built. They must have done that in the last day or two because that wasn't there the other day. We have a great relationship and I think that it's um, stuff that we don't really flaunt online so much. So I think you know, bringing cameras in and kind of taking a little look at that is gonna show people a different side of all of us. And it kind of completes the story of maybe who they think that he is or I am. You got grown here again? Uh, apples, cherries, and pears. I'm amazed that an apple's already started coming in. Yeah, but we got it. Don't we have to like shred the meat? You can just cut it in your plate. Okay. I cut it up into like little chunks. Oh, okay. Jack loves a good old. No, no, in the I kitchen. just no. Last time you shredded up the meat and then. No, we don't need to shred meat. I don't know if I can. I can. I don't know if I can walk into this tomorrow. It's too hostile. You can smell it, right? The meat still girthy, but more firm. See, I like cut them like that. Now we can get a knife. You know? mm -hmm. I feel like we kind of alternate cooking for each other kind of every day, right? Yeah. I do like to cook though. Yeah. I'm very excited about this, babe. All right. I want to. Let us feast. Okay. You want some bread? Yeah. Should we say a prayer? Thank you, elk. To the spirit of the elk. How's the meat? Good. It's very good, actually. How does it feel to eat what you killed? I remember the first time I ate something I killed, and it felt kind of weird. You're like, whoa. Because you're so used to eating meat from a grocery store or a restaurant. It just yeah. feels weird to go, oh, I killed that animal. And then I processed it myself and took the meat and now I'm eating it. Yeah. But you're never gonna find any more organic meat than this. Mm -hmm. Farm to table. Nature to table. So it's good? It's really good. Seasoned? Mm hmm So clear tonight. Yeah. What's next for you guys? We're getting some electrical stuff done to wire up the greenhouse and out into the orchard, mm -hmm. um, so we can connect electric fences up to stop animals from going to eat all our awesome stuff. I want to do a scarecrow. You want to do a scarecrow? Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna get the deck done. Mm -hmm. Put some steps. Yep. And then probably next. the house, the painting of the house. Yeah. Because it's just gonna change the entire vibe out here. Yeah. And then eventually redo the roof. Yeah. I like that there's always a next thing too. Yeah. I love another project. Yeah. That was a weak high five. Well, I you mean, just what do like, you I didn't expect you to high five me. Ow!